Welcome back to the show. Well, 50 students have been suspended from a New South Wales high school for cyberbullying. Time now for the Mixed Grill with Shell Shock Media's Shelley Horton and Carl. Good morning, guys. Morning. Um, Good morning, so, Lisa. Shelley, <laughs> take us through the detail okay. of exactly what the cyberbullying was. So this was a bit of a game that was going on at this high school just outside of uh, Newcastle where they would put up offensive comments on Facebook and once it got to 50 likes, they'd reveal who it was about. So it was not your regular cyberbullying where you knew who it was about straight away. However... They haven't revealed exactly what the comments were, but they have said that they were offensive, that they were harassment. So I think that this is a really important lesson and I applaud the principal for standing up. So what the principal has done is not only did she suspend the people who wrote the comments, she suspended anyone who did put a like on as well. Now, some parents are saying that this is far, far too um, strict and a suspension is far too, um, too high a penalty. However, if your child woke up and they checked their Facebook and there was an offensive um, message about them and 50 people had liked it, yeah. these, these kids need to know that those, those likes have consequences. And to me, as a journalist, I want these kids to learn that everything you put out there is mm. publishing. It's in the public arena now, so you have to be responsible for it. it. Clearly this is a discussion that this school community and school communities around the country need to have, Carl. Well, look, they've been suspended between four days and 20, right? Yep. Um, so I do think that's, I think there's rightly so a suspension warranted in this case because they do have to learn the significance of what they're doing and, and there, there should be no tolerance for internet bullying. However, I think, I think the, the, four, the four or five days is enough. It's a lot of kids at a, at a school of 750. And so I err on the side of education here uh, better than punishment. Um, I'd like to see the, the, the school, um, you know, really discuss it with everyone, come out and discuss it with parents, have meetings, let, make it an open forum so that the kids know that they're, what they're doing at school has ramifications outside of school. It's a perfect opportunity, I think. Yeah, but they know now. You know, they've been suspended yeah. and that goes on their record. Um, some of the parents have been completely in support of it as well and just said, a lot have, yeah. my son came home and he was white-faced. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't realise the impact it was having. So I think and hard lesson, your, but and, good and lesson. And if it was your child, uh, you'd want those kids, you know, uh, suspended for as long as possible. I uh, do think whatever happens from here on, they've made the decision, let's move forward, but make it a discussion at schools. Yeah. So, so as you say, Lisa, at schools right around the country, they should be using this as an example of what happened mm. at this school, mm -hmm. not hiding it, but confronting it head on and going, you know what, kids, what you do today on the internet can have huge ramifications for you moving forward. Yeah, yep. it lives on. Yeah. Okay, speaking of moving on, okay, the creepiest professions have now been revealed. At the top of the list, clowns, Oh. Taxi drivers. Gee, clowns have had a fall clowns. from grace, haven't they? Is the clergy making an appearance <laughs> mm. in there? Guards, taxi drivers, funeral director. <laughs> Any of those creepy for you, Carl? Uh, well, taxidermist is, is a, a fairly significant one. I would have thought, and, and I do. I used to love clowns, but then. Um, Oh, There's a couple of those horror, horror movies. movies. <laughs> horror yeah. movies that have made it. <laughs> and uh, and um, oh. yeah, look, there we go. <laughs> that is seriously yeah. creepy, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, the occasional uh, people at Today Show, uh, there's been some creepy ones over the years. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Like guys who laugh his own jokes. Yeah, uh, on air and off air. Uh, there's been some creepy ones. Uncle Creepy uh, creeping their way into the Today Show. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, yeah, I think the clown is, is, is yeah. a huge fall from grace. It's a weird one. Why yeah. would a janitor be on that list? Shall Again, Lurking. the American horror movies. Late night, Late Lurking, night mopping the hall. Matt and then they crack it and, you know, basically... They, they, yes. they crack the mop and use that oh, as a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Damon. <laughs> I mean, janitors aren't all like Matt Damon, are they? No, not, not at all. taxi drivers. They're hard working. They're just trying to do oh, all this stuff. Oh, look, there's a lot on that yeah. list that they, they're not doing anything wrong. They're just doing their job. One that I was surprised wasn't on there is um, the makeup artist in a morgue. You know, when yeah. they make up dead faces. Oh, yeah. But, you know. The mortuary. It's, it's, it's a, a job. job. What about it's a lawyers? job. It's probably exactly what the makeup artists do here at 3.30 every morning. <laughs> lawyers are creepy. They just wear a better suit. <laughs> Charge every six minutes. That's how they can do that. What did you say about making us up at 3 in the morning? Well, I said it would be like a morgue at 3.30 in the morning when you guys would just be lying so, there like the I dead. I see dead people. <laughs> Carl and I walking through the car park at 3am. Speak for yourself, That's Lisa. very creepy. I'm always vibrant. I'm creepy then. <laughs>
Thank you, guys. Thanks. See ya. Okay, coming up, we meet Leonardo DiCaprio.